hi this is riyas this is para medical genesis today we have to learn about in this video humidification device so in mechanical ventilation patient we have to give a insufflation of the air to the patient's lung so what is the nature of air will very important in mechanical ventilation whether it's humidifier or non humidifier the non humidifier dry air will make patients tracheal bronchial injury mucous membrane injury and the air containing lesser amount of lithot 50 percentage of humidity will leads to cessation of the ciliary activity so to prevent this complication we have to use the humidification device so today we have to learn about the humidifiers in this video before start the session let's intro humidification device is majorly divided into two types that is active method of humidification and passive method of humidification in passive method of humidification we have to use the beautiful device it's called hme filter so that is the hme filter it's otherwise known as condensed humidifier and artificial nose it is a disposable device it's contain hygroscopic layer that hygroscopic layer will preserve the heat and water from the expired expired air from the patients so then preserve water and heat will will supply to the patients next breath to the inspired gas so in this method there is a no energy loss so it is a passive method of humidification it placed between the et tube and ventilator circuit so major disadvantage of this humidification device is called increased the dust space and increased the resistance and some obstruction airway obstruction from some secretion or blood in into the device and in this device it's not only act as a humidification device it act also anti microbial filter to prevent the contamination of the air in active method of humidification is further divided into two types that is non heated humidification device and heated humidification device the non heated humidification device is a nothing but the simple flow meter so in this device it's containing a small glass or plastic container it's containing the water so we put the oxygen source in this flow meter the oxygen will come to contact with the water to get the humidity from this water and to deliver to the patient through oxygen face mask or nasal prongs so in this method we have to use the oxygen source as a energy so that is the active method of active method of humidification and in this method we have to achieve 70 to 75 percentage of humidification in this method and in heated humidification device it's electrically operated expensive method this method is present in icu ventilator in major disadvantage of this method is it's create the thermal burns to this patient this video will very clear about the what is the humidification what is the humidification method to use to the patients we will meet in another video as soon as possible until then signing off jerry akhan this is paramedico genesis